Hey folks, welcome to the channel. On this uh, video today, we're going to talk a little bit about basic hill walking equipment for the UK in the summertime. It's summertime today, it's absolutely boiling outside, so I just came in, can't go anywhere, so I thought I'd make this quick video. So, we're going to make two videos. The first video will be about the backpack, the Bergen, what I think the minimal equipment should be. And another quick video, we're going to talk a little bit about footwear, clothing, and uh, just a little bit about nutrition on the hill. Okay, so let's get to the backpack. Okay, just excuse me if the camera's a little bit shaky. I am not used to making these videos, but never mind. Here we have basic rucksack, summer use, 38 litres. It's an Osprey, it's an Exos. It's a brilliant rucksack. I've been using this one for a while. Oh, that was the music turning off. So let's have a quick look at the pack before we delve in to see what's uh, inside it. So you've got a top lid here. This top lid comes off if you want to save some weight. It's got a pocket at the top here. And it's also got an internal pocket with some low roll ready. So this just kind of clips off. And if you wanted to do that, you've got a little... A little storm flap here that goes over the top to keep the contents a little bit drier although nothing is waterproof so you would have to waterproof your kit inside it if you wanted it to be totally dry so good thing about this pack is it's got a wee pocket here at the front you could just stash stash your map in it stash a waterproof or windproof in there on the go you've got pockets at either side that will take a water bottle you've also got a lot of tie-on straps at the bottom you can get a full-size roll mat at the bottom this pack's good enough to use for uh, while camping on the sorry about that on the rear of it you've got this mesh on the back that stops your uh, back sweating so much and running down the crack of your bum really good you've got some pockets at the front on the straps really comfortable you can fit a compass in here or a snack and it's got little little straps here and here you could probably fit a GPS on if you wanted it's also got your stash away pole for your uh, walking sticks hip belts really comfortable and you've also got a pocket on each side which I keep a, a little buff and a midge net, midge net is definitely needed for walking in Scotland okay so that's the uh, Osprey Exos so let's have a look at what's inside it okay so now we've had a look at the backpack itself let's have a look at the kind of stuff we've got in it first of all what you should have on you is one of these a compass got some pace beads on there and a map Plenty of different types to choose from, your 1 in 25s, you got your Harveys, you want your 1 in 50s, maybe in a waterproof case, or you could have a map laminated like so. My assistant prepared this earlier. Okay. It's going to be launching stuff underneath the camera. It's very professional. Okay, so, walking pole, really handy. I just use one of these, just saves the knee for getting any kind of problems. A lot of people use these and they're really good bits of kit. Okay, so let's start off in the top pouch here. You can have some snacks in here, some trail mix there, A knife, everybody needs a knife just in case you fall down a well and have to cut your arm off. That's what you need for here. We've got a hat, a pair of lightweight gloves for walking. Now we know, even in summer. And we've got caramel wafer, the business. And a little protein bar. Okay. Just like you keep some snacks handy just so you're not having to delve into your bag every time you just want something quick to eat. Okay, 
Got some water bottle with some silver tape on it. Silver tape's really handy. Don't have to go with the, the plastic water bottles. You can go with one of these, it's called a soft flask. Really handy, and once you've drunk all the contents, they basically scrunch up tiny. So, at the top of my bag, even though this is not how I would pack the bag, I like to put some waterproofs because it's kind of like the first thing you'd want to grab if the weather changed, even, even if it was windy, you could stick on a waterproof jacket. So, I've got the waterproofs here. I don't put them in a waterproof bag in my uh, bergen just because they're going to get wet anyway and you can fold them up so the inside doesn't get wet if you're factors. You can pair these up with a pair of waterproof bottoms depending on what it's like uh, when you're going to leave the car. Personally I don't take waterproof bottoms unless it's really really bad because I just wear soft shell trousers they usually dry out pretty, pretty quickly especially in the summer just extra weight. So in here I've got a spare map. I've got a splint, pack my first aid kit, also use it as a seat. Really good bit of kit there, you get them off Amazon for like a fiver. And then inside I've got a waterproof rucksack liner. And then here we've got some more, uh, some more snacks. Also got like uh, some spare laces in here, a head torch, some tape and some spare batteries, stuff like that. Okay, and I've also got toilet roll in there and here's part of the other toilet roll toilet kit for burying your poo. And near the top again, I've got a warm layer, synthetic fleecy kind of layer. Perfect for Scotland, if you get wet, you don't want that down kind of stuff. If you're soaking wet, the down's just going to get sodden, it's not going to keep you warm. These kind of synthetic fleeces are fabulous. Again, inside here, I've got other bits of kit that's in, its, in their own kind of waterproof sack. So, I've got another one here. Inside here, I've just got a spare. A pair of gloves and a hat. Even though it's a summer time, it gets really cold up in the summer. Sometimes when the weather turns and stuff, it's really always good to have spare gloves for you. Sometimes you might have two, three pairs of spare gloves in your bag. And then, if you're walking with like a mate for two years, three years, you could have a little coffee bag, or you could also have one of these, get them pretty cheap, life systems, in a foil kind of baby bag thing, or even cheaper, you can buy one of these, just a survival, survival kind of blanket, basically a big plastic bag that's orange, help me out the rescue, so yeah, really handy for the price of them, they don't weigh anything. And then you could have a GPS, spare batteries. First aid kit, you can buy a lot of first aid kits online, this one's kind of tailored to myself, this is all my personal first aid kit, but it's got enough stuff in here for two people if needed. And then I've got a little survival, survival blanket at the very bottom. And I think that is it people, that is all I've got in my rucksack for a day out in the mountains. Seems quite a lot, but it's actually, it doesn't weigh too much. Okay. Okay, so let's take a closer look at what was inside one of the bags of goodies that was in the rucksack. So what you could have with you also is sun cream, sunglasses and a sun hat, which I've not got here. Apologies. You could have a flask with you for a hot brew. You could have some energy gels, more food. Starts away just in case. Head torch definitely needed. A lighter, a small power bank with a cable that goes to your phone. Obviously, we've got some uh, more low roll and some zinc tape there. Okay, thank you.